Hi, this is Jim Kramer, expanded edition of Wall Street Confidential, a message to people about how to short. When I see what's going on with Amazon and when I see what's going on with Whirlpool, uh, with F5, it's very clear that what people are doing is they have a thesis. And the thesis is that there is a problem with the stock and the problem will not be solved this quarter because there's nothing that's a catalyst. F5, a lot of people had come, called me and emailed me saying that I ought to go out negative tonight's sell block on Mad Money on F5 because it had been acting doggy because there's no way that a traffic coordinator on the web could continue to grow. That's not a good reason to short. Amazon, I mistakenly pointed out on TV that because it was up 70% since August, maybe it was time to get off. Again, not a reason to sell. A whirlpool where people were going wrong there as the previous quarter was not that good. Now, in all three cases, the guidance from these companies from the previous quarter was not good. All three cases, short sellers felt that therefore this quarter had to be bad. Another classic. Why would you ever trust these companies' guidance? They didn't know how to guide going into the quarter. Why would we trust their guidance going out? They were sandbagged. Now, but let's talk about the way you short. There was, if you really believed that Amazon was going to go down, if you really believed it, you didn't need to see it this quarter. You should not have been using Common. Same with Whirlpool. Whirlpool, the 90 strike was expensive. That is a tell that that would have been good. I would have bought the, the Whirlpool 90 puts for a couple of bucks, or maybe the 85 puts if you thought it was going to fall apart. Amazon, the 40 puts would have been right. F5, I, I, you know, that stock is up so monstrous. Two strikes down would have been right. What I am urging you to do if you're in the game and you're shorting, whether you're professional or an amateur, do not use common stock. It doesn't work. If you are addicted to shorting common stock, go and buy the Whirlpool 85 calls and short common against it. So if it drops below 85, it's a risk reward. Sometimes it's cheaper than the put. You cannot use, in this kind of blow off to the upside, regular common stock to short. I wanted to take this moment to say that to you because I've had three friends who've been put out of business in the last couple of days. Why? They didn't use puts. This is the safe zone. If you're going to short, you can only do it with puts. You cannot do it with common.